What's up everyone, it's Q from RetroQ Gaming, and it's a good time for most people to be a gamer. Usually that's not something you say at the start of the year, it's usually the end of the year when all the, the big rush of releases and stuff comes out. But just recently with the announcement of Black Ops 4, and then today the proper actual announcement, ignoring the leak from yesterday, of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and of course with the upcoming looming release of Soul Calibur. It's a pretty good time to be a gamer, unless you have a Nintendo Switch. So this is something I've talked about many times at this point, and a lot of you are probably getting really, really sick of hearing it as I beat the horse to death. But I just want to prove my point that not every game should come to the Switch. A lot of people out there, a lot of Switch diehards will say every game should be cut down to unacceptable levels just to get it onto the console, like they did with Doom, like they're going to do with the upcoming Wolfenstein 2 port and many other ports already on the Nintendo Switch. But this is what I was saying all along. Companies are moving forward. They're moving forward with their development tools, they're moving forward with technology, they're moving forward with hardware and power. And of course, the Switch is already way, way behind in that aspect. These are some pretty big titles. Now, granted, none of them appeal to me personally, but the point is that Call of Duty every year is one of the biggest selling genres, one of the biggest selling franchises, one of the biggest selling games, whatever way you look at it. It's one of the biggest money makers and biggest sellers almost every single year. And you can damn well sure bet later this year, whenever the new Battlefield, I think they're calling it Battlefield 5 or Battlefield V or whatever they're going to call it at this point, and yes, I realize that V is Roman for 5. You can damn well bet that that's not coming to Switch either. Same with Soul Calibur. No announced Nintendo Switch port. Just like Dragon Ball Fighters. And hell, you know what? Let's even throw in the biggest game of the year. It's not even out yet, but it's hands down going to be the absolute biggest game of the year. And that game is Red Dead Redemption 2. Absolutely no way that's coming to Switch. From a technical aspect, when you look at LA Noir, it's very similar to the PlayStation 3 version. In resolution, quality, sliders, etc, etc. Some of it is one notch higher than the PS3, some of it is one notch lower than the PS3, and some of it is equal to the PS3. Overall, a very poor experience. So you can damn well bet when Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out, there will never be a Nintendo Switch port of that game. Ever. Now, why am I even making this video? Because most of this is all common sense. Now, luckily, I'm one of the people who has a following who actually are logical people and logical gamers. Yes, some of you who watch this video do prefer the game on the Switch, but I know that you guys already know that the Switch does not demand and automatically be obligated to get these games. So luckily, you guys are logical. Now, real quick, why is this important and why am I actually talking about this and why do I bother to keep making these videos? Well, even though it doesn't affect me personally, believe it or not, I'm not actually making these to bash the Switch and to beat the shit out of the Switch. No, I want you to look at it this way just for one second, okay? Let's look at the entire library of games on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, I'll even leave out the PC and we'll just put in the Switch. From a consumer standpoint, someone is going to look at the Nintendo Switch and say, oh, I can get maybe Mario, Metroid, whatever, Zelda on here, but I can't get all these other games that I love and play every year or over the course of the entire generation. I can't get Call of Duty every year and play with my friends. I can't get FIFA. I can't get Madden. I can't get whatever racing simulator I love. I can't get any of the dozens, if not hundreds, of games available on every other platform and enjoy them by myself or with my friends. And that is the biggest thing here to realize. But the reason I'm making this video is I'm trying to reach the people who don't understand. These are the people who say, oh, XYZ game is absolutely perfect for Switch. These games are not perfect for Switch. When you have to dumb down a game so much in resolution, in frame rate, in textures, in every aspect and facet of the game, that it no longer resembles the core intended experience of the game. That is literally the complete opposite of being perfect for the Switch. It would be an absolute detriment to the game to get that onto the Switch in that case, because it's completely destroying the original vision for the game. This actually goes back to a video I made earlier on this year in 2018. 
Because for all I know, by my look, someone will watch this in like 2026 and be wondering, Oh, you didn't make a video earlier this year about what I said in relation to buying a Nintendo Switch. And yes, while I do think it is a decent option for a lot of people, I still stand by my statement that you should not buy a Nintendo Switch as your primary platform. It makes an excellent supplementary platform, but definitely not a primary one when you just literally don't get the majority of the games, and the very few you do run completely inferior to every other version, there's absolutely no way that these games are perfect for the Switch. But like I said, I wanted to reach you guys out there who don't realize this, who feel that you're obligated to get every game. You are absolutely 100% not obligated to get every game. Developers don't have to gimp their games and gimp their product and compromise their artistic vision just because Nintendo decided to make an underpowered system. Now, of course, Nintendo has been making underpowered systems or else equal power systems that were gimped in some way, shape, or form, looking at you, cartridge on the N64, looking at you, mini DVDs on the GameCube. But these creators don't want to be hamstrung by one of the four main platforms. The Xbox One and PlayStation 4 are very close in power. Obviously, neither of them, even the Xbox One X, don't come close to PC. But the key thing is that they are all using the same base developmental architecture. And that the Xbox One just fits into like the medium to lower quality settings that PC versions would already have. Whereas the Nintendo Switch is so behind in that aspect, they usually have to either pair it back even further or create create new lower than lowest quality settings just to get it on there. Not to mention compromising the experience with everything being removed, frame rate, resolution, etc. But I'm just going to say one more thing. This list is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger every year. It's not just going to get bigger as this year goes on. Yes, the Nintendo Switch sales are probably going to continue to soar, but it's going to be a situation of the Wii people. The Nintendo Switch is basically the Wii 2. You're going to get a shitload of indie games. You're going to, you're already getting a shitload of shovelware. I do think over the next year or two, you're going to see a lot of shovelware and smaller titles from bigger companies that only release on the Nintendo Switch, while they still release their big money-spinning franchises on the actual platform. As a quick example, look at Square Enix. All the stuff they're actually bringing to the Switch, small name spin-off titles. I Am Setsuna, Lost Sphere... Octopath Traveler. So this list is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Definitely something to consider if you're a Nintendo only gamer or if you find yourself watching a new game reveal, a new game announcement and there's no Switch logo and you scroll down to the comment section or you look on Twitter or whatever it is and all you see is where's the Switch version? Where's the Switch version? What about that Switch though? It's just something to think about. The Switch is a decent console to an extent but it really just depends on what you're looking to get out of it. If you're really only in it for big first party Nintendo games, you're definitely in the right place because let's face it, you're going to get them on the Switch. You're already getting them on the Switch. But if you want the vast majority of third party games, you're on the wrong platform and you're only hurting yourself if that's the only one you choose to buy. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below, are you looking forward to Soul Calibur, Red Dead Redemption 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, or really any big third-party game that the majority of which won't be coming to Nintendo Switch? Do you have another platform because of that? For example, do you have an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 to play any of the games I just mentioned and big upcoming titles that the Switch isn't getting like Kingdom Hearts 3? Or will you just be satisfied with Project Octopath Traveler? Or do you mind missing out on these games? Let me know all that good stuff anyway in the comments section below. Let me know how I did with the video by hitting the appropriate button. Maybe even hit the subscribe button and turn on the little bell for notifications and all sorts of live streaming fun. And I will see you on the rest of the videos in my channel.